What's going on Thrive 30 Challengers? I got a fun one for you today. We're gonna to be going over some animal flow. And what that is, is just different animal style movements to tie into this workout. We have three movements today, and we're gonna do those in an EMOM, which means every minute on the minute. Watch this through the entirety so you can see all the form, things like that, progressions, regressions. And then after, I'm gonna actually do the workout with you. So this is gonna be a 12 minute EMOM. First movement is going to be the lateral ape. So what we're doing in this is uh, like shoulder width stance, feet forward. We're gonna go down into the bottom of a squat. Okay, so we're hanging out in this position. My knees are out, my feet are planted to the ground. Take my hands, I'm gonna plant. If I'm going to my right, my left hand comes to center, my right hand goes to the outside of my body, and I just shift to the other side and then I would shift back. So this is the lateral ape here. So one regression for that, if you can't put all that weight on your wrists or whatever it is, you can just do air squats. For the air squat, I want your hips down to your knees and we can just hang out here doing air squats. If you wanna make it more challenging for yourself, you, again, we can be in this position. As we plant, feet can come up higher. Okay, so that's kind of an added core workout um, if you choose to do so. So, next movement is the loaded beast to lunge. So, my, my wrist stacked under my shoulder, my fingers are pointing straight, I'm grabbing the mat or the ground with my hands. So I'm creating tension in my hands. From here, elevate the knees, so now you can feel your core nice and tight. Now I draw my butt back to my heels, okay? So again, from here to here, and then we go forward into a lunge. Lunge, draw that hand back, okay? Back, okay? So this is the lateral beast, I'm sorry, the loaded beast to lunge. Um, we're gonna be doing that for the allotted number of reps on each side. A regression to this would be just a reverse lunge. Okay, so you can do that however you choose to do so. Knee stays stacked over the ankle, come back, core stays tight, and back up. And then we'll just alternate, okay? If you want a, reg uh, a progression to that, you can come here, and then you can go front kick. That's an added progression. Again, this is your workout. Do whatever challenges you. The last piece of the workout is the crab reach. So, feet planted, knees out, core tight, shoulders back, so that chest is proud. So we're not here, we're staying nice and long. Then we elevate our butt only about an inch off the ground, okay? From here, I'm gonna drive my hips forward and then reach back, trying to stack my shoulders. I'm gonna come back and then switch. Okay, if you want a regression, we can just come to our back, drive the hips into the air. This is a good one. If this is too easy, but you want some, and you want something slightly more challenging, you can go single leg. Now, the progression. So if we're here, the only difference is on the switch. We're just gonna come to here and then back. Come to here and back. So. That'll make it a nice smooth transition, can be kind of fun. So now I'm gonna walk you through what a workout would look like. So let's say I'm going for two reps in this EMOM. So I'm gonna do two reps on each side of each movement. So what it's gonna look like is this. So I'm gonna get going here in about five seconds. I'm gonna go two reps per side for each movement. So, lateral ape, if you wanna make it more challenging, 
Again, you can come here. That was two on each side. Now, loaded beast to lunge, two on each side. And now, crab reach. All right, that took me 32 seconds, so I have 28 seconds of rest. I'm gonna grab my water, shake out what I need to shake out. You want to have at least 20 seconds of rest. Of course, you can push the pace, make them go a little faster, slow it down. Again, I would say try to shoot for 20, 15 to 20 seconds of rest at a minimum, and then, uh, then you get started on your round. I would get started now because the time just started. That's how an EMOM works. Use whatever progressions or regressions that you want to do. This is your workout, no judgment. This is all about challenging ourselves and getting better. Watch the next video and I'm gonna be doing the workout with you. We're gonna be going for 12 minutes. Every minute on the minute, challenge yourself however you choose to do so.